Welcome back to Verify Giant, your go-to source for helping you shop online safely. Today, we dive into the Maritime Antonine Hotel and Spa in Malta. Now, picture this, a hotel perched on terraced hills, offering breathtaking views, like a postcard you can't send. But, spoiler alert, not everything is as perfect as it seems. Let's kick it off with a negative review, when choosing a 4 or 4.5 star hotel, don't book the Maritime Antonine Hotel and Spa in Malta. Better to choose the Hyatt Regency in St. Julian's or the Radisson. Ouch! That's a tough blow. But hold your horses. On the flip side, here's a glowing review. The rooms were perfect, spacious, and had a wonderful balcony with great views. Who doesn't love a good view? Especially while sipping a pina colada at the rooftop bar. Now, let's break it down. Location? It's in Malik, close to the largest beach on the island in public transport. Score? I'd rate it an 8 out of 10. Room quality? Spacious rooms with decent amenities, let's give it a 7 out of 10. Facilities and amenities? Two outdoor pools, a spa. But you pay 5 euros for bathrobe and slippers, really? And three restaurants serving international cuisine. That's a 6 out of 10. Food and dining? The breakfast buffet gets rave reviews, but lunch and dinner options are a bit hit or miss. I'll rate that a 6 out of 10 as well. Cleanliness? Many guests noted clean rooms but a smelly hotel building, how about a 5 out of 10? Wi-Fi and connectivity? Free Wi-Fi, but don't expect blazing speeds, let's say 6 out of 10. Now for the staff. Travelers love the great staff. But can they fix that smell? I'll give them a solid 8 out of 10. Finally, value for money? At a starting price of 80 Australian dollars, it's decent, but you might find better elsewhere. Let's land a 5 out of 10 here. Overall, we tally it up, location, 8, plus room quality, 7, plus facilities, 6, plus food, 6, plus cleanliness, 5, plus Wi-Fi, 6, plus staff, 8, plus value, 5, equals 51 out of 80. So, is the Maritime Antonine Hotel and Spa worth visiting? Well, with a total score of 63 out of 100, it's worth a visit, but maybe don't pack your best Hawaiian shirts just yet.